Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Today we have these two pretty big sparkling waters. First up is Giant Eagle Market District Italian Sparkling Mineral Water from the grocery store Giant Eagle. Next up is Smart Water Sparkling. I already did the still version of Smart Water and it was eliminated in the first round. And now I'm going to do the sparkling water. So I'm just going to open these up right away. This is actually a lot of sparkling water. If this was still, it'd be pretty easy to chug, but I don't like sparkling water, so let's just start drinking it right away. The Giant Eagle one has a metallic lid, which is nice. I'm glad it didn't explode. One of the other waters. Ooh. It's been a couple weeks since I've had sparkling water. I don't like it. Here's smart water. Please do not explode all over the place. Oh boy. Good. It's bubbling up but not exploding, which is good. Smart water has a thick lid and it says smart water on it. All right, I'm just gonna call it now. <laughs> I think Smart Water is the winner out of the two. Smart Water has <laughs> a much more mild taste. This one kind of like burns my throat going down. So that's just my personal preference. Maybe if you like sparkling waters, maybe you prefer the stronger taste, but in my opinion, the Smart Water is better. It just doesn't burn as much going down. The Smart Water is in a one liter container. The Giant Eagle Water is 750 milliliters. It burns your throat going down. The Giant Eagle Water has 10 milligrams of sodium per serving so this is uh, a three serving container so I guess it has 30 milligrams of sodium in it the smart water has no grams of sodium in it so I think smart water wins in that area too because I don't think water should have sodium in it <laughs> excuse me Smart water is vapor distilled and it contains calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, and potassium bicarbonate. Ah, it burns. Ugh. You know, water should be like refreshing, it shouldn't burn your throat going down. Um, the smart water also says that it has electrolytes added for taste. Electrolytes are kind of like salts, so it's interesting that this has no sodium in it. If they add electrolytes, it seems like it would have some sodium, but it doesn't. Oh man, I can feel my... Like stomach just filling up it's so much carbonated water. The smart water says that the bottle uses up to 30% plant based plastic. And I thought that was interesting because isn't most plastic mostly plant based? Like, plastic comes from oil. Oil is drilled out of the ground and it's from like isn't it from old plants mostly <sighs> I mean when I was a kid I thought that oil was like dinosaurs but I'm pretty sure that's wrong I'm pretty sure 
oil is mostly plants. So 30% seems like a low percentage of this plastic. <laughs> or maybe they just, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe they grew the plants and 30% was turned into the bottle and it skipped the oil step somehow. I don't know. It's weird. Done with the smart water. My mom really loves the uh, the smart water, the still version of it. Sometimes I just open her cupboards and there's like a whole cupboard of just smart water. I don't drink it normally. I think it's kind of overpriced. Um, a lot of the times I compare other bottles to smart water because it, it has like a uh, bottle that kind of sticks out like it's you know, pretty simple. Just flat on the sides and then curved on the top. Excuse me. For example, the blue kind of has a similar similar curve on the top of it. So this is something that I compare other bottles to regularly. I'm surprised I'm not burping. With all this carbonation, I expected myself to just constantly be burping. The label on this bottle was kind of coming off. A little bit. It's a nice bottle, though. It looked, you know, it's like a, like a wine bottle kind of, kind of bottle. And it's nice that they take the extra step to make it glass, but this is still the losing model out of the two. The Giant Eagle Water says it's bottled in Rimini, Italy. And it says the total dissolved solids is 560 milligrams per liter. Uh, I don't really know what that means, but that's what it is. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I thought that was going to take a lot longer than it did to uh, get down all that carbonation. So, again, Smart Water is the winner. I just prefer the more mild, sparkling taste. So, Smart Water is going to move on to the next round. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a nice day.